Every year globally, the LGBTQ plus community celebrates June as Pride Month, remembering the Stonewall riots and the protests and struggles for queer rights that followed after. India too, along with the world, celebrates International Pride Month every year with a Pride March across the country in or around June. This time, due to COVID lockdown, a march was not possible. So Students' Federation of India organized a virtual Pride March on June 28, 2020 to celebrate Pride Month with the slogan, Coming Out with Comrades. With stories of their struggles, they went on to celebrate Pride Month. Here is a glimpse. The point of Pride Month is it's all about visibility. Because without visibility, acceptance comes very less. More visibility, more acceptance. That's the motto I believe in. Up to I think class uh, 11, I didn't know what I was called. I used to tell my people, I used to tell my very closest friends, and they didn't have any idea about it. Then I shifted to Metro Guwahati, and there some friends of mine told me, oh, you are nothing wrong with you. It is homosexuality, the feelings you have for girls, being a girl. And you are probably called as a lesbian. They didn't have also have in some, uh, they have this vague idea about it. So I first time Googled it in going to an internet cafe. First thing in my life I did in an internet cafe to Google homosexuality, I still remember. That's how I came to know about all these terms. And during that period and when I joined engineering college, that four years, I faced the worst kind of homophobia in my life. And by that time, I knew about me, what I am called. And lesbian was still used as a derogatory word, you know, lesbo, lesbo. And I heard people talking about me behind me as if I didn't exist, you know, like uh, I could hear it. I could hear it. I could see the differences in their behavior once they came to know about my identity. And that too, I didn't come out. One of my friends, she told about me. They didn't allow me to, you know. Uh, stay in the main girls hostel. So I think language is very important because uh, in India we speak so many languages and if we are seen for past one day then SFI is constantly uh, looking, uh, you know, we are promoting this message through different Indian languages. Bonjura, it's a pride march, Ponchastamo Vachur, and it's a pride march, and it's a pride march, and it's a pride Agami Atashe Jun, Isifai Kendrio Kajunirvai Committee, Pesteke, Virtual Pride March Program Unustitave, Shadindre Abnarashi Program Chogragbin, E Unuru Devong Asha, Amra Abnadir Kachirachi. Namaskar. In Tamil, in Malayalam, in Ahomia, in Hindi, in Hindustani, in English, Bangla. So this shows the diversity also in the community. This also shows that why it is important for us to talk about queer identities or politics in Indian languages. There is no word, uh, you know, equivalent word of queer in any Indian language. When she was 10 years old, she found out that uh, she's a bit different from other people. She was not feeling very comfortable within her body because she, as a boy, she was, no. I mean, she was feeling to dress up like a girl and decorate herself with more jewelry and all. She was particularly saying, I wanted to put like, you know, earrings, I wanted to put bundi, I want to dress like a girl and all. So uh, it was very difficult for her at that time. And uh, she knew like if she come out to anybody or like if she even had I mean, kind of, you know, um, um, tell this openly to anybody, people will not accept. So she secretly told this to her aunt. Her aunt was there and she was telling her like, okay, like, um, and uh, auntie, I don't feel like the way I am in. I'm not comfortable the way I am in. I actually want to be like a, a girl. I, I rather like to play with the girls. I rather like to behave like girls. And this is not something which I'm not comfortable around with this body. So then, like, you know, the social scenarios like that, people won't directly accept that. So they were like, there were questions, why do you feel like that? And they were actually consoling her, saying that this is just a misbelief. You are okay, you are as okay as like a, any other 10-year-old boy. This LGBT activism is very much urban-centric. We speak in English mostly and we generally cater to a middle class, upper middle class and upper caste and class people. 
we do not reach out to people like moyuri or we do not reach out to people like srija who come from villages or small towns and then they make their life in big cities while they do that they also educate themselves empower themselves but what happens in both the cases of mayuri and srija is that they do not they did not have the idea of lgbt the full form also so they self educated themselves this is because we do not talk about lgbt issues in indian bhashas and then only we will be able to make people aware of it we are called uh, gila mitha we are called chakkas we are called bodhis we are called kothis we are called several other uh, you know uh, things we have appropriated some of them you know for example if you look at uh, uh, the pride march in the, in the us they say that dyke being dyke is power because lot of uh, uh, you know the queer people were uh, termed as dyke and then in a derogatory way so we have appropriated the term queer also but the time has also come for to give us more terminologies to give us more definitions it's not like we are closing ourselves from one we are taking us from one box and putting it in another box no but we are trying to understand what is queer in the indian context i came out myself as a trans person when i was in 10th uh, standard i saw one of the newspaper uh, uh, article of uh, the nalsa judgment which happened in 2014 then i said that i am one of them uh, but the friends my, my many of my friends started bullying me from that time then uh, from the uh, my counseling session started from uh, at the age of 14 then my parent after the after my school my parents took me to the hospital uh, for the counseling and psychiatric therapies and correction treatments from that time from the age of 14 uh, from the school counseling center uh, my parents took me to the psychiatric counseling and correction therapy because of the depression stress that i have gone through be, uh, because of the bullying from my friends and sure. from my relatives then uh, i used to skip many of my classes and i was a, i was a nss volunteer uh, but one day my teacher rejected me from uh, my nss camp because they uh, because i came out as a trans person in my class so they rejected me they said that they don't need people like this in the nss um, camp so uh, that time I, uh, that made me really they, that put me into depression then after that after years um, uh, my uh, my teachers and the school invited me to inaugurate the nss function which happened in last year sexuality uh, in fact uh, proletariat issue hai uh, pichle 3 saalon mein uh, jo hai hum do logon se अभी लगभग पचास लोगों तक बढ़े हैं दैट हैज बीन पॉसिबल बिकॉज हमारे शहर में लेफ्ट ने हमें इतना लेफ्ट और वेमेंस ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ने हमें इतना स्पेस दिया है uh, अपने रिसोर्सेज दिए हैं अपने कॉन्टैक्ट दिए हैं जिसके थ्रू हम बढ़ सके हैं uh, उन्होंने हमें जिस तरीके से सपोर्ट किया है वो हमारे बढ़ने के लिए बहुत क्रूशियल रहा है मैं अगर अपनी बात करूँ तो स्कूल में तो ऑफ कोर्स जो है एक तरीके का क्वियर फोबिया चूंकि हम उस समाज में जीते हैं तो उस तरीके के समाज से ही होकर के अपने अंदर इंटरनलाइज्ड क्वियर फोबिया और होमोफोबिया था ही यूनिवर्सिटी में आने के बाद बैचलर्स के टाइम में बीए के फर्स्ट सेकंड और थर्ड ईयर में धीरे धीरे जब चीजें पढ़ना शुरू किया लेफ्ट के लोगों से धीरे धीरे जुड़ाव हुआ तो पॉलिटिक्स जिस तरीके से बदली और बढ़ी उसके बाद से बीए फाइनल ईयर खत्म होते होते मैंने कुछ किया मास्टर्स uh, के दौरान बहुत स्ट्रांगली इलाहाबाद यूनिवर्सिटी में एक तरीके का पॉलिटिकल बिल्डअप किया है क्वियर पॉलिटिकल बिल्डअप जिसमें लेफ्ट का ऑफकोर्स जैसे हमने बात किया बहुत स्ट्रॉन्ग रोल रहा है एंड uh, आज भी uh, जो है मैं एस से नहीं हूँ उसके बावजूद आप लोगों ने मुझे यहाँ बुलाया है अपनी बात रखने के लिए वो जो है जिस तरीके का प्यार और जिस तरीके का सॉलिडैरिटी मिला है वो हमेशा मेरे लिए बहुत फख्र की बात रहेगी वी आर पर वर्किंग इन स्पेस विच हैज लॉट ऑफ कास्ट बेस्ड एट्रोसिटीज डिस्क्रिमिनेशन एंड यू नो टॉर्चर्स एंड ऑपरेशन पर्टिकुलरली ऑन दलित गाइज एंड गर्ल्स 
from the school level and they, that get more difficult if that dalit boy or girl is a queer person that get further more difficult difficult if that dalit boy or uh, girl who is queer is also a trans person identify as a trans person desh ki jo sarkar hai ye sarkar hum pehle dekh chuke hain 2009 saal mein jab homosexuality ko jab delhi high court mein मतलब 377 जो कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन uh, के जो वॉल्यूम था उसको स्क्रैप किया दिया लेकिन उसके बाद में जो धर्म के नाम पे जो ऑर्गेनाइजेशन चलता है वो लोग फिर से इसको लेकर पिटिशन दे दिया सुप्रीम कोर्ट में और 2013 साल के जुलाई मास में सुप्रीम कोर्ट ने ये जजमेंट दिया कि होमोसेक्सुअली होमोसेक्सुअलिटी इज ए क्रिमिनल ऑफेंस एंड जो ये इस संपर्क में युक्त रहेगा उसको दस साल के लिए सजा हो जाएगा लेकिन बाद में उसके बाद में दो साल में हमने देखा नालसा वार्डिक में सुप्रीम कोर्ट ने एक राय दिया है बस उस राय पे सुप्रीम कोर्ट ने ये बात को साफ बोल दिया कि थर्ड जेंडर जो है उसको उसकी आइडेंटिफिकेशन लेके उसको रहना है वो खुद अपना आइडेंटिफिकेशन ठीक करेगा लेकिन हमने देखा 2018 साल में जो बिल पास हुआ जो बिल लेके आया इस बीजेपी गवर्नमेंट ने उस बिल में हम लोगों ने देखा कि उसने उस बिल में वो लोग स्क्रीनिंग टेस्ट को रखा था उस बिल में वो लोग ये हक हम लोगों के ऊपर नहीं स्टेट के ऊपर रखा था कि डिस्ट्रिक्ट मजिस्ट्रेट खुद ठीक करेगा जो कौन मेल है कौन फीमेल है और कौन ट्रांसजेंडर है लेकिन देश में इसके लिए बहुत सारा मूवमेंट तैयार हुआ बहुत सारा मूवमेंट हुआ ट्रांसजेंडर मूवमेंट हुआ एलजीबीटी क्यू मूवमेंट एक साथ हुआ एवं इसके बाद में सरकार पीछे हटा और दो हजार कोड़ी साल बीस साल में जो बिल पास हुआ है उस बिल में स्क्रीनिंग केस को उठाया गया है और उसके साथ साथ ये जो आइडेंटिफिकेशन का जो बात है वो खुद पर्सन के ऊपर छोड़ दिया है लेकिन अभी तक उस बिल में ऐसा कुछ भी नहीं है जिसके लिए एलजीबीटी क्यू कम्युनिटी का ट्रांसजेंडर कम्युनिटी का कुछ डेवलप हो सके हमने देखा है जी कुछ भी डेवलपमेंट के लिए उन, लो, उन लोगों ने कुछ भी नहीं लिखा है इस बिल में शिक्षा के लिए क्या दिया है काम के लिए क्या दिया है कुछ भी नहीं दिया है अगर आ, कोई भी ट्रांस चिल्ड्रेन क्या बताए कोई भी ट्रांस चिल्ड्रेन लोग जो है अगर उन लोगों को अत्याचार की सम्मुखीन होना पड़ा तब वो लोग क्या करेंगे परिवार में होना पड़ा या अपनी एरिया में होना पड़ा तो वो लोग क्या करेंगे इसके लिए कुछ भी कुछ भी लिखा नहीं है उस ट्रांसजेंडर बिल में अगर किसी को घर से निकाल दिया जाए तो उसको हम कैसे सेव करें किसी को मार दिया जाए तो उसको हम कैसे रक्षा करें इसके लिए इस बिल में कुछ भी नहीं लिखा गया है हम पहले से ही हम गौरव ने बोला है बोला है कि कास्ट और रिलीजियन देश को जो लोग चला रही हो धर्म के नाम पे चला रही है देश को बांट रही है सी के नाम पे तो ये लोग एल जी बी टी क्यू कम्युनिटी के लोग को क्या सब करेगा भाषा बोधो हरे पिछले चाबोना पाल तुले दा